Hi, in this slide, um, there is the answer to the question I asked earlier about what percent of the working population in the United States are, are uh, good worker bees or self-authoring, self-starting kind of employees, uh, or they can not only self-author, but they can transform themselves to another level. Uh, and the way these two studies worked, and this is, you can see down here, I've, I've got the footnote, uh, a fellow named Keegan in Over Our Heads in a book that came out in 1994 uh, included this, this survey, or these two surveys. And what they've done is in one survey they said, all right, what percent of the people can't be worker bees? And they said, all right, 5% of the population don't seem to be able to have good social working skills, life skills. They can't show up on time. They can't, you know, dress right. They are contentious. They can't follow those sort of things. And this sort of survey was a little bit more generous. It's only 1%. And they said, all right, as far as having a socialized mind, that's, that's the, what they call a good worker bee. Uh, they said, well, you know, uh, these are additive. Five plus eight is 13 plus 14. 14% 14 of the 100% out there had achieved good worker bee status. These guys said 8%. And they said, what percent are struggling transitionally between being worker bees and being self-authoring, self-starting? I want to get better at what I'm doing. Um, and what they both came up with is about a third of the workforce is able to uh, continuously improve along at least what they're doing. Uh, that doesn't mean they're, they're, they can proactively jump to a new higher level value added, but they can continue what they're doing. If they got fired, presumably they would hop back into some place and they would figure out, you know, how to take some of their old skills and reincorporate them and, and get again to a sort of a functional uh, improving kind of path. Uh, you can see that Right here, another third of the population kind of got caught between worker B and self-author and self-starter. So that we're looking at you know a huge percent of the population already. What percent can actually transform from one way of operating to a next level of operating? Think uh, go from being product-centric pushing sales rep to a, a service value chain consultant. Um, here we're looking at, uh, you know, six to seven percent are sort of caught up trying to get there. And really, they're looking at a very small percent. So that would suggest that the attitude and aptitude to be a certain level performer has to be brought to the, to the, to the skill level set. In other words, if you want to be a radiologist, you have to have be somebody who's gotten through a, a better than average college with fantastic grades and better than average MCAT scores and gotten through medical school to then have a chance to you know, be somebody in the, in the medical hierarchy uh, that might be a little bit more selective than another category of, of, of medicine, for example. So, um, yeah, there it is. Now, my feeling is, is that this, you, it's one thing to go out and say, let's just measure what's going on, uh, as opposed to, well, what if we change the environment? What if we had a, a six boundary system where there was lots of feedback and uh, lots of upside incentive, vision pull, uh, a lot of uh, underneath structural discipline, collective support, and so forth, uh, and to a certain degree, a little bit of fear. It's like, well, you know, you get in with this program where you have to get out. You have to deal with a certain minimal amount of pressure. You have to show a certain amount of commitment and progress. We're not going to let people just sit still. That's not an option. Um, and we're actually working on teaching not life skills, like how to set your alarm, how many minutes in advance to get to work on time in a heavy traffic day, but the whole idea of what's mastery and the path of mastery and how do we move along mastery and so forth. I think we could dramatically pop these numbers higher. In fact, I know we can. I've done it personally. It's been one of the great satisfactory experiences of my professional career. Um, but here's the, here's the societal question, which is, you know, in an information society, we have to basically teach everybody to move up one more level. We can't be good worker bees. There are too many, you know, uh, honor students on steroids in India and China growing up being totally bilingual in English. That the, the part or all these jobs can be trans, you know, transported somewhere else. We, we've got to get more people to this level and more people to this level, and I think we can do it. Uh, and and uh, but let's not worry about solving the nation's problems today. Let's just worry about becoming a high performance company, uh, which we can control right now. So that's the, that's the levels of individual performance statistics historically, but we're going to change those numbers for our business internally. Thank you.